Hi, welcome to the Movie Recapper, today we will watch a horror, thriller movie from 2005, titled The Descent. This is a spoiler content video. The movie is about a caving expedition that goes horribly wrong, as the explorers become trapped and ultimately pursued by a strange breed of predators. Enjoy the video and let's begin. A white water rafting trip is underway, with three longtime friends on board. Leading the trip is the bold adventurer, Juno. Also there is Sarah and her closest friend, Beth. Awaiting at the end of the raft adventure is Sarah's husband, Paul and their daughter, Jessica. Paul and Juno share a strange moment before he drives to go back home with Sarah and Jessica. Paul steers the car into a truck that carries metal rods, which dislodges several of the rods, one of them going right through Paul's skull. Sarah awakening from her injuries in the accident in the hospital, Sarah panics and runs down the hallway, imagining the hospital getting dark around her. She finally snaps out of it when Beth embraces her, and tearfully tells her that Jessica is dead. They both weep as Juno, standing in the distance and also crying, turns and leaves them. A year later, Juno has organized a spelunking caving diving trip in the Appalachian Mountains, in order to bring Sarah out of isolation. An additional three adventurers join them, including Juno's butch friend Holly, a base jumper. The other two are a pair of European-rooted sisters, Rebecca and medical student Sam. That evening, as the group reminisces about the past and enjoys a lot of drinks, Sarah repeats Paul's motto, love each day, as her motivation to join the group's adventure. Holly laments that the cave they are to explore is just a tourist trap and offers no real challenges. That night, Sarah has a nightmare that a steel rod hits her face just as it did Paul's. Juno waking her five companions the following morning, leads them on a long drive over a rough country road. When leaving the cars, Juno seems to intentionally leave behind the cave map. Hiking to the cave entrance, they encounter the huge carcass of a bull elk. All the women except Juno and Holly become hesitant when they see the deep cavernous entrance to the cave. They all repel down into the first pocket of the cave. Descending still further, all daylight is vanished. Juno lights a series of flares, illuminating the huge cavern of the cave system that they've entered. As the women prepare to go further, Juno indicates they are looking for a tunnel to bring them deeper into the cave system. Sarah finds a small tunnel entrance. One by one, the women go into the tunnel, which grows even smaller midway before coming out in another large space of the caves. Sarah is the last to go through and gets stuck on a rock, sending her into a claustrophobic panic. Beth, at first, tries to calm Sarah and then climbs back down the tunnel to help her out. As Beth pulls Sarah out, the tunnel roof begins to trim land, just as the two pull out, totally collapses behind them. The whole group is distraught at the tunnel collapse, since it is obviously their return route out of the caves. Juno then reveals to the others that not only did she not bring the cave map, but she has intentionally taken them to an unexplored cave. Juno desired to be the first to explore these caves and have the caves named after them. She informs the rest that they must keep moving and look for another exit to the cave lest they die in there. The group comes to an enormous precipice in the cave. Unfortunately, the bag that contained the ropes got lost in the tunnel collapse. In order to get across to a hopeful exit, they must set up a pulley system on the roof of the precipice. Rebecca painfully climbs along the roof using only her arms, hooking the rope to the cave roof. Rebecca sees a hook obviously left by a previous explorer of the cave, finally arriving to the opposite side of the precipice. Each of the women crosses the precipice using the pulley system and Juno goes last. Claiming they will need all the equipment they can get, Juno pulls down the rope pulley as she crosses the roof. Near the end, Juno loses her grip and falls. Rebecca must grab the rope to get keep Juno from falling, and her hand gets severely cut from rope burn while slowing down Juno's fall. Juno finally climbs up the precipice wall to join the others. When walking through the caves, they encounter an ancient looking mural, resembling a community drawn by early Native Americans. Beth notices that a second exit from the cave is shown on the mural. When it's time to continue, Holly runs in the front. 
she sees what appears to be daylight but is actually just phosphorescent rock and rushes even more, suddenly, Holly falls down a huge pit in the cave. Her leg is snapped during the fall, her bone painfully protruding from her skin. All the others rappel down into the pit and tend to Holly. Sam pushes Holly's leg back into place and makes a makeshift splint from a pickaxe for her. Meanwhile, Sarah has wandered away from the group, she is shocked to see a grotesque creature in the distance. In a moment, the creature disappears as Juno comes to find Sarah. Juno and the group don't believe Sarah about the creature and all, including the limping Holly, go on to find a way out of the cave. They come to a part of the cave with three tunnels and even Juno is vexed as to which one to go down. It is very dark so Holly's night vision camera is used to make out the surroundings. Apparently, the floor is littered with animal bones. Suddenly the grotesque creature is seen in the camera. Within seconds, the creature climbs with startling speed up the cave wall and out of sight. The creature then jumps on top of Holly. The group starts to panic and Sam and Rebecca flee down one of the tunnels, with Sarah taking another. The creature bites Holly in the throat, killing her. Sarah shortly loses her footing while running and falls down another pit, knocking her unconscious. Juno begins to get into a tug of war with the hideous beast over Holly's body. She slashes its face with her pickaxe. Another similar creature jumps onto Juno. The injured creature drags off Holly's body as the second creature struggles with Juno. Juno finally kills the second creature with her pickaxe. Seconds after killing the creature, Juno hears something behind her, she swings the pickaxe. It is Beth and Juno has stabbed her. Grabbing Juno's necklace, Beth collapses in a pool of her own blood and pleads with Juno to help her. A shocked Juno backs away into one of the tunnels, leaving Beth to die, Sarah wakes and realizes she's in a dark pit of fresh kills, suddenly, the body of Holly is dropped into the pit. Sarah watches in horror as several of the creatures, ravenously devour Holly. Juno is soon heard above calling from the others. The creatures all descend from the feeding pit to go after the other prey. One of the creatures happens into Sam and Rebecca, but fails to see them. Juno again calls out for the others and the creature leaves Sam and Rebecca's vicinity. Sarah makes a torch so she can find her way out of the pitch black feeding pit. Sam and Rebecca move on to find a way out. They are attacked by one of the creatures. The creature tries to maul Rebecca while Sam is frozen with fear. However, Juno appears and stabs this creature with her pickaxe. Juno confirms that the creatures are totally blind and instead rely on sound to hunt. Meanwhile, Sarah is also trying to escape, returning to where they came in and finds Beth. Beth has lost a lot of blood and explains to Sarah that Juno had stabbed her and left her. Shows Sarah Juno's necklace, which contains a pendant with the phrase love each day, since it is Paul's motto, Juno must have gotten it from him, and they were probably having an affair. Beth pleads with Sarah to mercy kill her. A small, childlike creature attacks Sarah, Sarah smashes the small creature into the cave roof and flips it onto the floor, killing it. Within moments, another creature appears, this one apparently the small creature's mother. When the female creature attacks her, Sarah falls into what appears to be a pond of blood. As she tries to climb out of the blood pond, Sarah is again attacked by the female creature. Sarah manages to reach a nearby jagged bone and stabs the female creature. Male creature then arrives, failing to detect Sarah's presence as she lies motionless beneath his feet. Sarah assaults the creature, managing to kill him also with the jagged bone. Sarah lets out a scream. Juno, Rebecca, and Sam hear Sarah's scream. Juno vows not to leave the caves without Sarah, but changes her tune when she turns to see about a dozen of the creatures crawling in pursuit of them. They run off down the tunnel. Sam takes the lead and comes to another precipice. She tries to establish another rope pulley system to get across. When Juno and Rebecca run up behind, they plead with Sam to be careful. A creature jumps out, and attacks Sam. Rip out Sam's throat, but Sam, with her last ounce of strength, stabs the creature, which falls into the water at the bottom. Creatures arrive and pull down Rebecca. They kill her. Cornered at the edge of the precipice, Juno jumps down. Juno lands in water, underwater, the creature awaits Juno, but she uses Rebecca's knife to kill it. Juno climbs up the slippery walls, suddenly, a hand grabs her, 
pulling her up. It turns out to be Sarah. Sarah asks Juno what became of Beth, and Juno's admission that she saw Beth being killed confirms Sarah's suspicions that Juno is not to be trusted. Juno and Sarah run off, still looking for an escape. Coming into a cavern, they realize they are surrounded by four of the creatures. When the creatures close in, a violent struggle ensues. Juno and Sarah each kill a creature with their pickaxes, but are disarmed by a second wave of attacking creatures. Sarah kills her attacker by gouging out his eyes, while Juno kills the other by stabbing him through the throat with Sarah's flaming torch. After the fight, Sarah silently shows Paul's necklace to Juno, who is stunned and has no response. Momentarily distracted by the sound of more creatures coming near, Juno is stabbed through the leg by Sarah's pickaxe. As she runs off, Sarah hears the sounds of the creatures and Juno screaming. Sarah runs into a side cavern and collapses into a pile of bones. At the top of the cavern, daylight peeks through. Climbs to the light and pulls herself up, Sarah runs back to the cars and takes off in one of them. Driving off back down the country roads they had come in on, she stops the car and vomits out of the window from the psychological trauma. Turning back, Sarah is startled by the bloodied figure of Juno. Sarah wakes up. She lies in the pile of bones and realizes that she's still in the cavern, her escape was a fantasy. The cavern actually is a dead end with no light coming in. To comfort herself, Sarah fantasizes about her daughter Jessica giving her the birthday. As Sarah drifts off in her own mind, the sounds of the creatures draw nearer. Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you can watch more videos like this.